This is the blank that I'm going to turn into a handrail using a router and a special router bit. But before we get that far, I have a few things to show you about how I put a blank like this together. Most handrail profiles need to begin with a block of wood that's about three inches thick by three inches wide. You're not going to find wood like that in one board that doesn't have any cracks or things in it. And that's why you need to glue up the wood you need. And that's what I'm doing here. I've got a piece of eight quarter ash and to that I'm gluing a thinner piece of ash about one inch thick, putting them together. I'm working on the floor because this is a long piece of railing I'm making, about nine feet. And I can't do the work on any one of my benches. It's important that you have complete coverage of the glue on the wood. So I don't rely on glue bottles. I actually roll a coat of glue on the wood. I in fact, I roll it on both pieces of wood just to make sure that this glue joint is not going to let go. I've got the glue spread on both pieces of wood. I've clamped the ends together. But I'm not surprised to find that there's a bow in one of the pieces of wood so they don't match up correctly. The two pieces fit together flat along the joint but there's a, a side bend in this top piece and I've got to get that out before I put the rest of the clamps on and bind the whole thing together. So I'm going to clamp the wood on its side to pull those two pieces together to get them perfectly straight before final clamping. We're just about to get to the fun part, the routing of the handrail. But before we do, I want to explain what's going to be happening. One bit is used to form the top of the profile. And a second bit is used to form this finger grip groove. And then a third bit is used to form this chamfer right here along the bottom. Now it's time to switch on the router and start making sawdust using the bit that forms the finger grooves on the side of the handrail. With the finger grooves completed on both sides of the railing, now it's time to route the top. routing step is to flip the handrail over and use a chamfering bit to angle the corners of each underside edge. So there you have it. I've taken ordinary inexpensive rough lumber and I've used three different router bits to turn it into a beautiful, solid and unique handrail.